Nissan is making a major commitment to motorsport in Australia once again in 2016 with its two headline acts, V8 supercars and GT3 racing taking to the track at Phillip Island. Michael Caruso showed off an updated livery for his Altima V8, which will sport the global colours of Nissan and Nismo's motorsport activities. He can't wait to get things going on the streets of Adelaide on the first weekend in March. It's an important year for us to, uh, you know, really make our stand in the championship and, uh, and I think we do have the goods to do that. You know, we showed at the end of last year that uh, the cars were coming on really strong and uh, uh, a little bit of um, stuff happening in the off season that'll hopefully you know, kick us right off at the beginning of the year. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, my fourth year with the team and, um, you know, same engineer and same group of guys and core group of guys in our race team. And it, it feels like home to me. So um, I feel like I'm ready to um, really give it a crack. Also on track was the number one Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 that will aim to take back-to-back -back Bathurst 12-hour victories next week. Nissan boss Richard Emery is pleased to have the Australian flag added to the now familiar livery. Yeah, absolutely, because it's very much an Australian effort this last uh, this year, uh, whereas previously it was certainly Nismo as part of their global GT program. This time round it was really uh, us taking a, a step forward in terms of having an Australian flavour to the GT program. After driving the GTR in 2014, Rick Kelly will be back aboard the Nissan this year, alongside last year's 12-hour winners Katsumasa Chio from Japan and German GT Academy graduate Florian Strauss. The Bathurst 12 hour this year is going to be tougher than ever. A lot of V8 supercar drivers in it to add to a lot of you know, very accomplished European drivers and a lot of fantastic teams that are coming up there with uh, sometimes one, two or three cars. You know? So for us, we're heading there this year with, with one GTR and uh, there's a few guys that are, I guess, almost not, not, not ganging up, but you know, certainly eyeing this car off to beat us. So we have to be on top of our game. For me, I have to get used to the car again and uh, you know, play our cards, I think, a, a very special way to be able to win that, you know, that great event. Uh, he knows the track, you know, every corner, every inch of it, I guess, and it's great also for the Australian crowd. And but also last year already, uh, with the support of the Nissan fans were amazing. And I remember watching a video on YouTube where the Nissan passed the chase in the last lap, and the crowd just went went crazy. So the Nissan outfit at Bathurst will be a true international team with technicians and engineers from Japan joining their Australian-based colleagues at Mount Panorama in a week's time.